In this video, we'll show you how to customize your Quote Mission document templates. To do so, head to the left side panel of your Quote Mission account and click on Sales Tools. Here you will see document templates, email templates, SMS templates. Modifying templates under each of these sections is very similar. So today, we'll focus on quoting template as an example, and we'll use this corporate one. To start customizing your templates, simply click on any of the three dots you see on the left center of your screen. Clicking on them will allow you to move the boxes up and down, as well as make changes to the highlighted box. In this case, this is the pricing table. And if you click Edit on this, this will allow you to show or hide the tax details, the line subtotals, show short descriptions, long descriptions, or both, show SKU on line item hide images, and various other changes. If you click the fourth option, which is add content after, this will display a list of other features that you can take advantage of to further customize your template. Features such as title and text can be used to build terms and conditions. Features such as signature form can be used to gather signature from clients. Image field can be used to show pictures such as this, or as well as your logo. You can use the line separator to separate sections of your template. And if you are using our custom uh, fields option, you can combine that with custom form to gather that information from your client and even make it a mandatory field. So they have to input that information. As you can see, there's an asterisk showing up. In Quote Machine, you can also have as many templates, templates as you want. But at any given time, of creating a new template, you decide you don't want to start from scratch, but want to carry over settings from a pre-existing template, simply click on Sales Tools, go to your choice of template that you're trying to create. In this case, I'll go to Quote, and click on Add Template. Proceed to name your new template, and mark it Enabled. The last option is where you would choose the template you want to carry the settings over from. So in this case, I can choose catering as an example, just save, and that will carry over settings from the catering template. Now, if you want to change the template on a pre-existing document without affecting anything in the document but just the template, simply go onto the document. In this case, I will use a quote, pre-existing quote. So Click on the quote, go to the bottom of the screen and you will see the three dots. Click edit. And on the bottom right, you will see edit design. Once you click there, in the bottom left, you'll also see a drop down menu allowing you to choose a template of your choice. So in this case, I will use furniture and that will apply the changes. And then after the changes are done, I can just simply click close edit mode and the template is now reflected onto this quote without making any changes to the products or any other information in this document. 